Hi guys, Dane here, and today I want to talk to you about some buddy reads. So I actually have a few buddy reads coming up, but equally, there are a bunch of books on my TBR shelves that I know a lot of you guys are also going to want to read. So I thought, why not share that list with you today, and then perhaps if any of these are on your shelves as well, we can buddy read them together and we can sort of start chatting about it and whatnot. So here we have my big list of books that I would like to buddy read. They're in no particular order. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through these books and then I'm going to give a few shout outs to a couple of other buddy reads that I have already lined up. Book number one is American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis about Patrick Bateman, I guess. I'm not going to talk about what all of these different books are about because... I've kind of, they're all popular books as well, that's why I've kind of highlighted them in this video. I figure it's fine, I'll read the less popular books by myself, but when they're books like these, I think people might want to join me. So we've got Brett Easton Ellis, American Psycho. We have got Marcus Zusak, The Book Thief, which is like one of the most booktubey books, I suppose. Speaking of booktubey books, we also have here Carlos Ruiz Zafon, The Shadow of the Wind. I've also got Andy Weir, The Martian here. I've seen the movie but not read the book. Whoops. Anne Rice, Interview with the Vampire. Here we have Ursula K. Le Guin, The Left Hand of Darkness, which I was really excited to read and then I read another one of her books and didn't enjoy it very much, so now I'm kind of scared of it. Here we have a big old book. This is The Passage by Justin Cronin. And again, this is another book that I heard about through booktube and then... So I grabbed it from a, a, a charity shop. We've got Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. And this one here is the last Gillian Flynn book that I haven't read. So I've read all of her others now. So I just need somebody to kind of push me to make that final leap, I guess. Here we have Heart Shaped Box by Joe Hill. And Joe Hill is uh, Stephen Kingson. I've never read any of his stuff before. And then finally we have P.D. James, Death Comes to Pemberley, which my uncle has read and told me he hated it. And we have quite similar tastes, so I'm now scared. So yeah, a buddy read for that would be good. It's kind of funny that Flynn and Le Guin, both, they both rhyme, and they're the two who I've read books by before, and I kind of have love-hate relationships with the, both of those authors, I guess. So I think that's why I want to buddy read them. So... Anyway, those are the 10 that I am looking for people who may want to buddy read them with me. So if you are interested in reading any of these, these are obviously all first time reads for me as well. But if you want to reread them or if, you know, if you've got them on your TBR or you want to buy a copy and read along with me, just let me know in the comments and we'll try and figure out some dates. And I'm going to give some honourable mentions to these as well because I have a few buddy reads coming up. So the first... I have actually mentioned this one in a tag video. So this is from May the 1st to May the 13th. I'm going to be reading The Ode Less Travelled, Unlocking the Poet Within by Stephen Fry. And I'm going to be reading that with Spinster's Library. And then from May the 14th to May the 20th, Sophisticated Books and I are going to be reading Daphne du Maurier's Rebecca. So this will be Sophie's first Daphne du Maurier. And for me, I've read the Penguin mini modern classic of The Breakthrough, but I've never read any of her full length stuff. So that's very exciting. And then the week after that, May the 21st to May the 27th, Sophie and I again are going to be reading Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. So these three are also already coming up. And like I say, we have dates for them. But if you want to join us for any of these, again, let me know in the comments and we'll get some email chains going. And we can just do some more buddy reads as a community. I mean, I do love seeing when people do buddy reads. And while it's fairly common on BookTube, I don't think it's as common as, as it could be. So I'm hoping that this is going to help spread the love for a bit of buddy reading. And, you know, it's going to help me to get to this little set of books here. A lot of these have been on my book, on my shelves for a while and I just keep putting them off. Partly because I know at some point somebody else is going to want to buddy read them. And I just find it, it's so fun to do buddy reads. So I just wanted to, you know, cast out the, the fishing net and start reeling people in. I don't know, I don't fish. I'm a vegetarian. Wait, no, it's my tattoo's on that hand. Jesus, that was a bit derpy. So as you can tell, this video wasn't exactly structured. I didn't even know what books I was going to talk about in the end. But... I just wanted to sort of throw this out there and see if anybody would be interested in buddy reading any of these. 
I guess at some point I will also do an updated TBR shells tour as well so you can see what else what else is on there and what I might be interested in buddy reading. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I didn't mention. There are also some authors up there who I'm trying to work my way through all of their stuff. So, for example, Stephen King. If you want to do any Stephen King buddy reads with me, I mean, I've read maybe 40 or something of his books, but there's still, like, 20 of them left. I also have, like, various random books. Like, I have some Graham Greene and some Nick Hornby, Peter James, quite a lot of him. Bill Bryson. Anyway, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you'd like to buddy read any of these with me. I'm very, very excited. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.